One of the gutsiest all-rounders in Indian domestic cricket, Sanjay Bangar was a lucky mascot for the Indian Test team during his year-long run at international cricket. Barring his last two tests in New Zealand, India didn't lose any of the 12 tests he featured in, even registering three rare overseas victories. While Sanjay Bangar will be remembered for his 68 at the top of the order in the Headlingley Test in 2002 that paved way for the famous trio of Rahul Dravid, Sachin Tendulkar, and Saurav Ganguly to score centuries and set up India's victory. He ended his two-decade first-class career as one of the most prolific all-rounders in domestic cricket. Sanjay Bangar debuted in Test cricket against England at Mohali on 3 December 2001. His last Test match was against New Zealand at Hamilton on 19 December 2002. Sanjay Bangar debuted in ODI cricket against England at Chennai on 25 January 2002. His last ODI match was against Zimbabwe at Adelaide on 24 January 2004. When he retired, Bangar was one of only two cricketers to achieve the double of 6,000 runs and 200 wickets in the Ranji Trophy, alongside Vijay Hazare. Bangar led the Railways team to three domestic titles and was one of the pillars behind the team's transition from all Surans to a domestic force. Post retirement, Bangar took up coaching. He was initially in charge of the India side and a consultant at the BCCI's National Cricket Academy in Bangalore, before he was called up to the Indian team after the Test Series leg of their tour of England in 2014 as the batting coach. He would stay with the Indian team over a five-year uninterrupted period. The highlights of his coaching tenure were Virat Kohli's ceiling-breaking feats in Test and ODI cricket the rise of Rohit Sharma as an ODI behemoth and a first-ever overseas test series win in Australia. Bangar also had a stint as the head coach of Kings XI Punjab, who reached the IPL 2014 final under his tenure, which remains their best-ever result in the competition. Sanjay Bangar played 12 test matches, 18 innings, and scored 470 runs in his entire career with a low batting average of 29.37. His highest score of 100 not out against Zimbabwe at Nagpur in 2002 helps India to win the match by an innings and 101 runs. Interestingly this was his only century in international cricket. He hits one century and three half centuries along with three sixes in his entire test career. As a fielder, he took four catches. Sanjay Bangar also played 15 ODI matches, 15 innings, and scored 180 runs in his entire career with a low batting average of 13.84. He had a decent ODI strike rate of 75.31. His highest ODI score of 57 not out against West Indies at Ahmedabad in 2002 was a match-winning and memorable one when India chased down the highest ODI runs of 324 at that time. He fails to hit any century and one-half century in his entire ODI career. As a fielder, he took four catches. Sanjay Bangar's first-class record is impressive. The batting average is in the 30s with exactly 33.13. He played 165 matches and scored 8,349 runs with the highest score of 212. Overall he has 13 centuries in his kitty. He also took 300 first-class wickets with a bowling average of 31.13.